Tim Ryan was the recruiting director for a Chicago consulting company, and he founded a multi-million dollar executive search firm. He was also a drug addict. People have this misconception that an opiate addict is the homeless person on the corner with the brown paper bag. That's 5%. Uh, you know, the average opiate addict is a 22-year-old white middle-class male and a 23-year-old white middle-class female. The disease of addiction does not discriminate. After using for years, he caught his son using heroin and opiates and joined him. My son and I, that's how we bonded. Nick and I bonded uh, by doing drugs every day. Then for Tim came addiction, prison, and sobriety. For his son Nick, a cycle of addiction, jail, rehab, and relapse. On the day Tim recorded his 21st month of sobriety, Nick suffered a fatal overdose. The doctor took me to the room right next to where we were, and I walked in there, and to see my 20-year-old son's cold, blue, lifeless body just laying there with a, a sheet up to his chest, and he still had the device in his mouth where they were trying to aspirate him. I mean, tears just started flowing down. Now, with his wife, former supermodel Jennifer Jimenez, he helps former addicts through their substance abuse program, Dope to Hope. Often, users begin with legally prescribed painkillers after an injury. Then when those run out, they move on to heroin or fentanyl, a powerful and dangerous synthetic opioid bought from street corner drug dealers. For too many opioid users, the journey through addiction ends like this. John, can you hear me? An overdose on a street corner. The lucky ones survive to end up here in the emergency room, now seeing more opioid overdoses than ever. Overdoses are up 55% in 2020 compared to 2019. Black people and inner city people have a more challenging time recovering because the drug is so available in their communities. One opioid manufacturer, OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma, has acknowledged its role in the opioid epidemic. The company has paid $634 million in fines and pleaded guilty to contributing to thousands of opioid deaths, now surging as the pandemic drives many back to drugs. They need purpose and connection. They need that human interaction. And unfortunately, a lot of people are going back to uh, abusing and, and using opiates. And when you're messing with opiates, uh, you know, you're going to die. It is an epidemic growing within a pandemic as the number of fatal opioid overdoses continues to rise. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.